Now the parallel in serial out register is probably the most advanced of the registers and that's because it actually has to have another signal. It has to have this load signal and it also has to have uh, some multiplexers in there. So it takes a little bit more space but it turns out that the a piso is, is pretty nice. Um, so let's look at how this works. If we want to load a value, say 0011, in through a parallel fashion, my cat just needs to put his face in sawdust. Have you heard that? It's pretty cute. Um, anyway, so if we want to write 0011, we're going to get that ready to write. And right now, as a default, uh, all the muxes are connected to their zero inputs, right, the, the very top ones, because uh, the load signal going into them, or the select signal, is a zero. So everything is connected like this. Um, but if we say we want to load it, now, uh, now we've sent a one signal to this, and so that's routing the lower input of the mux to the output. So you can see this is a one here, and this is a one there. But of course, even though we've got it ready to load, uh, the flip-flops won't write until we get a clock, a rising clock edge. So we do that, and now we've got 0011 written here. And now what we'd probably do is we'd turn our load off, and then we would need four more clock signals to send out these four bits. Or I guess really it's, it's three. Uh, clock pulses, right? Because this one's already there and available. So send out that one, send out that one, and we got really two zeros. And you can see that the way that this chain of writing things, right? This is the D input and then the, the Q output goes to the mux. Uh, it's kind of just like the serial in, serial out register, but we've put in this multiplexer in kind of in the chain. Uh, and that allows us to we'll be able to do our parallel input right. And you can see that this uh, input here that we have is just a fixed zero right now, meaning that it's going to keep loading in zeros when I'm in the when I'm in the sh the uh, shift out mode. It's just going to keep on writing kind of like a serial in serial out, um, and it's pulling in this zero. Um, so if we want, uh, we could. Uh, connect this to a one and we would load it with ones uh, if, if that became necessary.